Hey guys, welcome back. This is Valve Camera from Gmighty. In this video, I'm going to do a quick demo of the Mega HDR Packs Japanese Garden, which uh, feature 31 HDR images plus 25 uh, alpha masks. And also some of the HDR maps, uh, as you can see right now, uh, our girl is standing in the shade. So some parts of the set are a little bit darker, naturally in the shade. And you can choose to uh, use a version of the map that just casts a soft shade on um, as, as lighting goes, right? And or you can use the sunlight version. And this just brings out a lot more options for you. Plus, you can also you can see here on the railing here in the, in the background, you can actually place people behind it. I want to showcase all that. Uh, in a moment. Now, this video is just a quick demo of the set. P for more advanced features, watch the video below. Uh, albeit, it features a different set, but it has the same features without the filler option. This set doesn't have a filler, but instead it has the dual function on some of the maps where some of them have sunlight, some of them have just shade. Alright, so this obviously means that she's standing in shadow. All right, she's standing in shadow, and you want to move the camera around, not the capture. It's much faster to move the capture. Uh, sorry, <laughs> the, the camera around. So you can, for instance, just rapidly position her here, and it just makes sense that she's standing in the shade here because it's a darker portion of the set. Now, if I, for instance, use a this one right in the center she immediately gets sunshine on her because this now is well where the sun shines it's just the case it is right so all maps are 8k you can you know rotate them uh, 360 degrees uh, you can use all the places for instance if you want to use her on the bridge just position her on the bridge and off you go Lighting is designed so it's very easy to place whatever you want in the set. Now, there are a lot of maps in the set that just walk around, both at one meter height, half meter height, and also much larger height if you want to use specific, um, um, bird's eye view, you know, options as well. So what else? Well, we got this number three with shade. Let's click on it. This one is kind of captured a little bit more inside, as you can see, and it's kind of naturally darker here, right? So you don't want her to be fully exposed to the sunlight here. That's where you can use the shade option and just get her to perfectly match where she's currently at. Now, having that said, you can still go to tone mapping, crank up the intensity to bring out the details over here while oversaturating or overexposing what's in the exterior. All right, so you have that option. Now, let me show you a really cool thing. What about if you wanna place her right here on the, on the uh, walkway? Let me just turn off. I think I have depth of field on. Yep, let me turn it off. Um, let's say we want to place her right about here, right? So the way that will work is you have specific maps included. Um, alpha masks as a bonus. So all we do is place her right where she want to be. Or you can just move the camera as well. Like I said, you can just move the camera. But because she's now standing in the sunlight, you don't want to use the shade option here, right? You want to use the sunlight option. So let's use the normal map, three, and voila, she receives sunlight. Now she's slightly naturally darker here because this side of the map is a bit darker, right? It doesn't cast so much lighting onto her. Uh, you got more lighting coming from the other way, so to speak, and this is all natural, right? So the way this works is that you render this out just as it is, and then you render, go here, and you remove the girl, 
right? And you render this just without thicker. And then you change here. You can see this one is called Garden 3, all right? And you browse for it here. Just remove all that junk. And you choose the same map as you saw, which is number three, and click on OK. You render this out, and then you head back to Photoshop. I'm going to show you how that works right now. So I pre rendered some of these images here prior to making this video. One of the images is the mask. One of them is a girl that stands on the left side using the shade option. And I have another girl, which I rendered here using the sunlight option on the main. So what I want to do, I want to first grab this one, Control A, Control C, use Command and Mac, go back, Control V to paste, and I'm placing her right on top here. Now I want to carve out, so this kind of works like, like the, if I remove the girl now, this kind of works like the render I told you about, the one without the girl, right? But we have an additional girl here just to make things a little more interesting. So on this overlaying layer, what we're gonna do is create a mask and just bring this into view, which is gonna be by clicking on this button down here, um, copying this one, go back, alt-click on it, Ctrl V to paste, and now go back. Uh, we need to do vice versa. Invert. Here we go. And now, from the mask layer, I want to remove this portion to not remove the girl here. So now we got one girl on the left from the shade version and one in the sunshine version on the right. Now, as you can see, there is a small, mini, 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 uh, kind of like an outline. And you can easily remove it by clicking on this layer choosing adjustments, contrast and brightness, use legacy, and just crank it up a little bit so that it vanishes. All right, cool, that's it, guys. That's how easy and quickly you can play with that. So, um, let me show you some more options, all right? Let's go back, let's bring out our character. Let's, uh, Move her back into her position. Here we go. And what I'm gonna do is position her right on the steps. So when you have someone just standing on the steps here, you can choose to have the sunlight option. because the sunlight kind of comes straight down in this set. Or you can choose to place them slightly within. I'll probably make them a little bit larger and just choose the shade version instead. Perfect, it's very, very versatile. Now, you can use depth of field on these images, and I explained that in the other video, which is a more advanced feature. So let me just walk around this set a little bit more, show you some more cool um, options you got here. One of them is here, beautiful view of the set. Did it. Move her. There we go. Ah, I kind of lost her. There we go. There she is. So it's pretty much instant, right? You just move the camera um, and kind of mimic the height of the camera. Uh, most of them are rendered at one meter height, some of them at 0 0.5, and some a little bit higher up. And you also have some cool options here way back behind the main building on the other side of the set. These look really, really cool. Uh, right? So you can play with that as well. And yes, you can place someone right here in the middle. Use the shade option and <laughs> just use the masks. Uh, so you've got really cool options. you got this one here. Which a marvelous view. Really nice, beautiful view. All right, 
and she's standing in the shade just like she should and you also have um, this one here which is right on the bridge which is an awesome looking thing here and you can just say hey I want her in front of the bridge or I want her right here on the bridge you can just zoom in a little bit pull the camera closer not that big right there we go it's that easy that fast all right now next like I said you got some bird eye views uh, a little bit higher up these are also great For a little bit, you know, higher up uh, renders, and as you can see, that the whole set, the whole idea, it's very, very, very fast because everything is pre-rendered, so there's no lag, and they are all very, very fast. And guys, so I don't feel I need to show you any more right now because I kind of do a little bit more in-depth options in the other video. If you want to see really how these uh, maps work and you know how to use them in a more professional way cover a lot of you know cool stuff um, so guys thank you so much for watching and right now the set is on, on a sale and I believe it's gonna go on to some kind of mid uh, March like 16th or something like that and all of these are included 30, 31 masks uh, maps plus the 25 JPEGs that all cover this area you saw here this one here right all of the masks have this area selected so you can do a distance like this one over here number th number two for instance this one you can grab this one and render someone behind the pillar because you have that rendered uh, as a mask so it's really that cool all right guys so that's that by the way can you submerge someone in the water yes you can here's how we do that first you need to make sure that the ground is being drawn but you want to have manual ground position do not use auto because auto means that no matter where you place your character the ground will always follow you don't want to do that on submersion but use manual and whoa our girl is in the water this is cool all right there we go have fun guys thanks so much for watching go grab this now talk soon again